since there's Spotify wrapped, I'm about to do a business wrapped for this year. This is like lessons that I've picked up in business, things that I think are really, really cool. If you're interested in business, keep watching. If you're not, just keep swipe and keep watching other stuff. Okay. So the really cool stuff that I've learned this year in terms of business is that uh, number one, business relationships don't last forever. Sometimes they all, they even like end abruptly. Um, so yeah, it hurts a little bit when your clients leave you, but it is part of the game. Uh, another thing that I've learned is that you must always be looking for a new business. Even it doesn't matter how busy you are in terms of your business. You must always be doing sales each and every single day because like, yeah, relationships don't last. Some last, but like in order to have consistent income, you always have to be marketing and doing sales. Uh, the next lesson that I've learned is like it really, really helps to step out of your comfort zone. Sometimes you got to apply for the gigs that are too big for you to handle. And sometimes you can actually get them. So one of my biggest wins this year was like I applied for a gig that was really big and I got it. And it was literally out of my comfort zone and I just winged it. <laughs> um, at least I didn't fuck up or anything. But like, you know what? I just... It's just thought like there's no other way of like leveling up and moving on to the next level. So yeah, leaving your comfort zone and doing big things. Uh, it's very important to dream big and go for the bigger jobs because like all companies started somewhere, you know, checkers, pick and pay, they started somewhere and now they're as big as they are. So there's nothing wrong with believing Guti. Your company can be that big. You know, you're only as limited as how, how far you think you can grow. Um... Another thing I've learned in business is that hiring people, woo, something else. Um, hiring people can actually help you with your business in terms of taking on staff, but it's very taxing and it's a lot of work. Um, but it usually pays off three months after you've hired the people. So when you hire people, make sure you give them three months to adjust and three months for you to adjust also to their personalities and how they work. But they can really help you boost your business. Um, but yeah, hiring is very tricky. Just make sure you test people out and you, you're very stern and you're also fair and you also help them grow because the more they grow, the more they're happy, the more they're able to be productive in the business. And essentially, I feel like you should invest in people so much that they become so good that they leave, you know, so because if you don't invest in people, then they're going to be miserable and they're not going to be inspired and then they're just going to leave anyway. And they won't perform as well as they could have been. Um, the other business lesson is to yeah, dream big, dream big, have systems, uh, always, always have contracts, have payment milestones, have payment terms, uh, always, always have something on a contract because... If it's not on a contract, it doesn't exist. That's literally agreeing. Verbal agreements are just bullshit because at the end of the day, you're going to end up arguing and stuff. Um, and then also in terms of business, make sure you watch your cash flow. Don't be splurging, going to conquer, you know, because, you know, like as much as there's good times in business, there's also quiet times. So just make sure you're always ready and you're thinking in months or quarters or you have like six months worth of runway. I mean, ideally it should be a year, but like you have six months worth of runway. You can really, really, really survive when it's quiet and when things are not popping. And try to keep your expenses low. And then the more your business grows and your revenue grows, just make sure your expenses do not grow as your business grows or as if you're like hiring people and stuff. So yeah, that's my business wrap for 2023. Looking forward to 2024 and doing bigger, bigger things.